Your full name? Sulasi Lord Ali. A lot of people uh, mispronounce it, of course. I understand, because it, it's very hard sometimes to pronounce correctly, but a lot of people try though. Friends call me C, that's why it start like that. Say it again and teach us how to say it correctly. So, Ra-si. So, ra -si. So, ra -si. <laughs> See, uh, uh, R is 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 a, a letter for us to to roll. Yeah. Oh, my name, Sura, means uh, lion. Uh, means that brave. Mm. You, you, so you brave like a lion, you know. So, but really, I'm not. <laughs> I think you are brave. In certain way, in certain way, yes. Uh, my mom names uh, Swat, like you Swati. In, in Thailand, you know, everywhere you go, this is how we. We uh, greet everyone. My dad's Jam Nong. You know, uh, mom's is, is greetings. Jam Nong means that uh, it's a good purpose. Yeah, he has a good name, purpose. You know, so he named us kids. We have six kids together. He named all of us kids uh, heroes that save the country. So my name I was the guy who saved the country at one time when we fought with Burma. Yeah, Thailand and Burma fought so many years. We were enemies, you know, uh, but not, not, not anymore. Way back in many, 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 many years. My brother uh, named Surasak, he's again one of the um, people who saved Thailand. I'm not the youngest, but I'm the second youngest. My older sister named Si Sun Thon, she also named from the uh, lady who also saved Thailand. And then my second uh, big sister, No Pamat, she was also saved Thailand. And matter of fact, No Pamat is a beautiful uh, lady uh, in Thailand. Mm -hmm. And then my third sister, Mani Chan, also one of the famous ladies in Thailand. And then of course me, and then my younger brother, uh, Tira Pong, who already passed away when I was here in the United States. See, he is, is different than Thailand, and we all know that, right? They live in the big city, they, Sometimes they don't know how can I live here like this. I said, you don't know your neighbors. You don't know, you know, where do you go at night? What do you do? Do you, do you sometimes feel like you wish you were living in Thailand and not in America? Sometimes when I got uh, depressed, yeah. when, you know, uh, when the weather's Cold, <laughs> of course, yeah, of course. You know, you 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 have those moments, and then of course, you know, you miss mom and dad so badly. You know, regardless what happened, they died or not died, it's still in your memories. You know, I miss my cousins, I miss my, you know, friends. Uh, you you name it. You know, you sometimes you start thinking about how you growing up. You know, compared to here and all that. You know, uh, but not, not, not anymore. Way back in many, 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 many years. Yeah. Who is the oldest person?
person you remember in your family? Great, great grandma. Wow. Yes. Because when I was very little, uh, my mom used to bring us kids to visit her. And she always complained that she didn't get anything to eat. <laughs> the thing was, we just fed her. And she said, well, no one give me anything to eat. So my mom said, Grandma, we just had you some food to eat. Well, really? <laughs> yeah, she's kind of uh, yeah, have those uh, dementia. And those are the things that I remembered about her. And of course, the next one will be my grandma, which on my mom's side, I didn't get a chance to meet my uh, grandpa from my dad's side at all. Uh, I, I miss that. You know, I, I, I wish I would be able to you know, get to know them, yeah. you know, at least hold them or something, yeah. but never did. But my grandma, who's the one who, <laughs> who uh, helped me to get here, I went to talk to mom and dad. I said, hey, mom, dad, I, I want to come to the U.S. And of course, as a parent, they said, no, <laughs> no. What are you gonna do there? How are you gonna live there? You know, and all that. So I went to grandma, my grandma. I said, Grandma, I was one of the favorites. <laughs> yeah, so I said, Grandma, you know, I, I wanted to come to you. He said, Well, let, let me talk to your uncle, because my uncle was here. He was a doctor in Victor, Iowa, uh, but he passed now. But, anyways, uh, I said, Grandma, talk to uncle and see you know, what are the chances I. I can come here. So he did, she did. So my uncle said, well, you know, there might be a possibility if his mom and dad says, okay, you know, he can come and live with me and then, uh, you know, he can go to college or whatever. Of course, you were teenagers. <laughs> you know, you want to explore. You know, you watch movies, you read magazines, you know, Hollywood, of course. You know, mm -hmm. uh, New York, Chicago, those, those big cities. Really, I didn't want to study. <laughs> yeah, I want to see it, to 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 get touched with it, and then tell the story to my friends. It just didn't have any thing to think about. All you think about is you know, how to show off your friends. I was about 17, 18 because I went to high school here. Yeah, of course I went to Victor High School. It's uh, so small, Victor is so small. It has to combine three uh, towns together. Hardwick, Lodora, and Victor. It's called HLV. You know, my class was the biggest class in 10 years. And that year was 73. Think about that. See, otherwise there would be 72 if they didn't have me. Yeah. And were you the only Asian person? Yes. What was that like? Going oh my so gosh. Long? Oh, those are the things that I memorized and it's very difficult yeah. because you know how teenagers, yeah. high school, they are mean very mean and plus they are farmers farm boys mm -hmm. they never step a foot outside iowa mm -hmm. they never seen an asian person um, so you know the welcoming part you didn't have that much lots of times i had to sit by myself at lunchtime yeah i will be by myself or sometimes the teacher will feel sorry for me so he would ask me to sit with him or her. And they were made fun of me because how I dressed. You know, I came from big city, my goodness, Bangkok. We came from, you know, the, the, the building next to our house is 37 story high, next to my house. In Victor, Iowa, two stories building, one grocery stores, and they 
making fun of me? But, you know, what can you do? I thought, well, you know, it is what it is. I very, very sad. Um, I didn't think I was going to make it. Uh, talked to my uh, uncle many times. Of course, he's very busy. He was the only doctor in the surrounding areas. So he was very busy and had very little time for me. So I talked uh, to my parents. I said, you know, I, I want to go home. Now, this is not a place for me. You know, but uh, luckily my parents uh, encouraged me to hang on. Say, hey, you came here for a purpose and you're the one who wants to come here. I I'm glad I stuck it through. I really did. But uh, yeah, it was hard. It was difficult. You know what? Come to think about today, I'm looking back. You know, I, I was thinking, oh my God, them guys, I feel really sorry for them. You know, at that time, you, you wish that you could do something, but you physically, there's no way. You just face the fact that, hey, that's not going to happen. Today, um, you know, come think about it, I, I feel really sorry for them that they live in such a small world. You know, they live in the box. Um, yeah, they didn't know any better. Uh, they didn't. You know, so you, know, you cannot blame them, you know, but you can feel sorry for them. That's all you can do. And hopefully by this time, I hope that some of them changing the way they perception with other people, other nationalities. You know, the world's getting smaller with a hit of a mouse. Goodness, you reach out the world. It's getting better, but to me, we still have lots of work to do. Yeah, you know, we, we have come a long way, but yet we have a long way to go. Well, first of all, technology. You know, here, you know, kids were born with knowledge of technology. You know, ask my grandson anything, you know, give him a, a laptop, he can figure it out. You know, way back, if you give me a laptop, I said, what is this? I probably throw it away. <laughs> you know, of course, you know, way back, we don't have, we didn't even have a television. You know, we, we were the first house who had the television. And the television way back, it's only had like one or two channels. And it only came on like five o'clock in the evening until like 10. Uh, I don't know if you guys uh, have seen the show called The Jetsons. Whoever created The Jetsons is incredible. <laughs> Wasn't he? I mean, look, way back. I was a kid. I was watching the Jetsons in Thailand, and the Jetsons spoke Thai. And I was thinking it now. Look at it. You know, it becomes like that. You know, you go to airports. You don't have to walk anymore. You go on escalators, right? Exactly like that's the Jetsons. You know, and then that there's a, a car that drives in the air. It's going that way already. See? So whoever created the Jetson is very brilliant. So anyways, uh, I was trying to say is that we were the first house that had the television and it, of course it's black and white. And in our neighborhood and uh, the kids in the neighborhood, of course they wanted to watch cartoons. So, so my dad would put him in the, well, we so called it the living room and then put the TV up high, and then the kid would sit on the floor and watch the cartoons. I think it was five o'clock in the evening. Yeah, that would let them, let us watch that. And then mom, of course, she make some food, you know, snack to give us. Yeah, we, we, I was popular when I was young. <laughs> Heck 
No. <laughs> Do you know what you wanted to be when you were a teenager? I want to be a rocking star. You know, rock star, of course. You get all the girls, you get all the famous. Things like that. You never think about, oh my God, I'm, I want to, to, to work, to be a CEO of the company. You know, no, of course not. Most kids will not think of that that way. I was one of them that didn't think about anything. Who, which rock star encouraged you to want to be a rock star? You know, I, I was admiring um, the Beatles. I was in Cedar Rapids. Uh, Cedar Rapids was my stomping ground. I watched um, KISS concert. <laughs> so cool, huh? Of course, it was so fun. You know, at that time, I was staying with uh, a group of friends. I was uh, studying at Kirkwood, Kirkwood you know, uh, not University, com uh, Community College. So we rented a house. Uh, we stayed six people in a house. Um, so we were wild, you know, we all boys. So we went to concert together, of course, it was fun. Went to Chicago concert at uh, Unidome. I think CCR, what is that, Bread? Three Dark Night, think about that. Oh, that yeah. was fun. That's, that's all I remembered. I used to play, play guitar. You could have been a rock star. You betcha. <laughs> <laughs> no, we be no, <laughs> no. In Thailand, we we had a little group that we get together and played, not played, but practice rather. Yeah, and then uh, I came over. I had played a little when I was in Victor. Yeah, but of course, you know, uh, that's just because I didn't have any friends. So I picked up guitar, yes. the time being, because you know, we couldn't go anywhere. There's nothing, you know, there's only uh, American Legion Halls only have played, uh, they have a dance on every, I think Friday night at American Legion Hall. So of course nobody asked me to go, so I'm not really talented, uh, just play around, along. Um, but my friends is very good. You know, he, we didn't know how to read notes. We just remember by ear. We listen to the music over and over and over again. And then we try to copy that and try to uh, play it as, as close as possible. That's how we learn it. There is my father. You know, he was the greatest uh, person that I knew of. You know, he, he, he's lovable. He cared for us. Um, he would do anything for us. That's there. Here, uh, I think my ex-boss, Mike Early, he used to be um, CEO and the president here. Um, he's the one who really promote uh, um, minorities. He's the one who changed where I work. You know, so I really admire that. My dad always encouraged us to do the best we can. For Mike Early, treat everybody like you be treated. Yeah. See, my dad, he he likes to push us hard. You know, he he's very to me. When when you were little, you think he's pretty mean, right? Dad is always mean. You know, we always have, he, he doesn't, he will give you an inch, but yet don't go over that, <laughs> you know. And, 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 but when you grow older, you start to realizing that, you know, that pushes hard, but yet he never expect anything. He just want us to be the best that we can be. You see, that, that's when I, I learned that in life. What are words of encouragement that you have that you want to give to the younger generation or maybe to your grandson? What are words of encouragement that you want them to remember from you? Do the best you can. Try the best you can. 
You know, if, if you do everything that you pow power in your power that you can, uh, then the good things will come. You know, don't give up. Just don't give up. You know, keep on doing it. It is fun, you know, to talk about it and 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 to laugh about it instead of uh, holding the grudge. You know, of course, you know, it hurts when you talk about it in the past. Right. It, you never forget that. Yeah. But the thing is, you know, at least I uh, overcome it yeah. um, and think that, you know, I'm a better person than they are. Yeah. You know, I did more than they ever done. Yeah. So. Well, being able to look back and and extend, you know, that kindness and grace to people who weren't like that. That's that takes a certain kind of person. You know what? You don't have that much of a choice. You know, you got to do what's best for you and the best for everyone. Right. You know, that surround you, and that's all you can do. You know, but really, uh, I really think that uh, think that you know it meant to be. Otherwise, I would have gone back to Thailand, and who knows what uh, my life would be, you know. So, this is 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 a meant to be thing, you know. To make it here, and you know it, is very difficult, you know, to to make it from zero to now. Uh, a lot of people seems to forget that, you know, without families, without mom, dad. You don't have today. Today will never be here. So make sure you all, you guys all remember that. Yeah. You know, don't don't ditch your mom and dad. They're the only ones that give you birth, give you life. You don't have today without them. So.